asshole. <laughs> in the morning. It's probably three days until the new year starts. I can't sleep. I usually don't. I'm one of those people that I go to sleep around one o'clock-ish, around that area. I'll wake up depending on where I'm at here at Tuesday five o'clock. So I get about four hours of sleep. As you can tell, I'm not really that tired. I don't know if I'm just abnormal, crazy, Slightly sociopathic. Can't, can't nudge, nudge. I can't tell you that I overthink things way too much. That's part of why I can't sleep. I'll stay somewhere new, and for some reason it kind of triggers this, hey, let's think of all these things. Let's think of all the times you did these embarrassing things. Let's think of all the regrets you have. Let's think of the friends you've lost both in a figurative sense and a literal sense. But I think what I focus on mostly, and I do this when I'm awake as much as when I'm trying to go to sleep, I think about what it means to be human. What it means to be a person. If I'm feeling weak, I tend to cover myself and to not want to go out. I'll wear jackets to kind of cover my body up, I'll wear things that are not so pushy, things that are not so extravagant. I'll comb my hair a different way. When I'm feeling super extroverted, I'm going to peacock like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I beat that down. I'll wear my best khakis. I'll wear a collared shirt or a button-up or a flag. I'll comb my hair, not exactly like it's combed now, because it kind of didn't want to cooperate with me, but somewhat similar to what I have now. But that's not important. Point is, I ramble. Point is, I digress. I'm doing this now. I haven't really made a clear, precise point to you guys yet. You notice I kind of went from one thing to the next. That's what happens when you overthink like I do. It's not so much just my ADD, because yeah, I've got that, but it's not the only thing I've got. It's the only thing I've been diagnosed with, for sure. It's not the only problem I have. I'll tend to sit like this at my desk, staring. I'll do this for 20 minutes. There's nothing on my computer, just the background. Not listening to any music. I'm just thinking. Sometimes it's about, you know, imaginary stories, kind of imagine myself fighting off terrorists or something like that. Like we always do in class, because nobody wants to sit through a history lecture. Except maybe Dan. Sometimes I'll be thinking, why am I doing this? Why am I wearing this ring? What does it mean? What is it? <coughs> I mean, it's 10 karat gold. It's mostly gold, a little bit of, what, fake steel, iron, something like that. What does it represent? Sure, the citadel values, honor, duty, respect, blah, 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 blah. We go through that all the time. We have those shoved down our throats and LTPs all the time. But I feel like we kind of just <coughs> superficially discuss what it means to be human. Or more accurately, what it means to be an ethical human. On the inside of my ring I have home is behind the world's ahead. Does anybody know what that's from? Just show of hands. Anybody? No? You want from a movie called Lord of the Rings. Well, book, movie, whatever, what have you. I'm a nerd, yeah. 
It's not so much the song that it comes from that's important, but more so what it means. Back home, I was quiet, introverted, shy, didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Here, staying awake, thinking until 3 a.m. in the morning about all these things that bother me, all the regrets I have, all the pain that I have, it's made me realize that being human isn't about never lying, because we're human, we're going to lie. It's not about never cheating, it's not about never stealing, it's not about not killing the man next to you, it's not about saving the man to your left, or woman, what have you. It's about understanding that we're not all going to look at things the same way. The person who's getting eight hours of sleep on the daily and is just chipper and happy as can be, isn't going to see things the same way as the guy who's only getting four hours of sleep, their mom might be dying or something like that. They're not going to be thinking about things the same way because they don't know those things the same way. That's what I think about. I think the world's a little messed up. I think the world's going to be okay. Thank <laughs> you.